Hey everyone, so I got another comparison for you. This time we're going at the Apple iPhone 5S versus the iPhone 7. So both these phones, flagship phones, at the time of release, three years difference of release. So let's get started. Powering both on at the same time. And both these are on iOS 10. Uh, credit to Apple for releasing iOS 10 on the 5S. A lot of times with Android phones, you'll get two years update maximum, sometimes even less. So obviously guys, much better specs in the 7. Uh, it should come out on top for most of the tests. But this is more a matter of how much, how fast it is compared to the 5S. Alright, and no surprise here, so loading up quicker. And yeah, the um, 5S not far behind. I think that would beat a lot of the other phones I own. Alright, so going to the app page, making sure everything's closed out, and we're good. Temper on two. <coughs> Alright, so you see here, no contest, much faster on the seven. And guys, I know that these have different loading screens, or different like animations here, but they are the latest version of the app store, I just checked for both. Maybe it's because they're on different devices that they have different um, boot up animations there. But again, they are updated on the App Store. Uh, we'll do Chrome in a minute with CNN. Again, as you see here, much faster on the 7. Uh, let's do Settings. So, simple app. Obviously, really quick on both, uh, iFunny. So you see guys, even for a lot of the simple apps, you're still getting much faster performance on the 7. Now, if you're on the uh, 5S and you're thinking of upgrading the 7, uh, this could play a factor in that decision. Let's see YouTube. Yeah, so again, guys, you see much, much faster on the 7. Excuse my voice, guys. I think it's, yeah, as you know, the weather's been terrible the last week. Winter's finally coming. Let's do calculator. Maybe like a fraction of a second faster on the 7. Let's do clock. The same uh, ESPN. And we'll be testing out other stuff like fingerprint scanner, web browsing in a minute. Again, faster on the 7. Photos. Same result. Oh yeah, so I just upgraded to the, um, just upgraded to iOS 10, so I got that message, but I think you guys know it's faster on the 7. Just finish off the last few apps. Uh, eBay. All right, so again, no contest. Um, we'll do Asphalt 8, the benchmark. Yeah, so the uh, Apple iPhone 5S has an A7 chipset, one gigabyte of RAM. The 7, A10 chipset, two gigabytes of RAM. If you get the 7 Plus, it has an extra one as three. And again, no contest here. All right, so we're gonna look at, yeah, so I did run into the benchmark when you bring that up. And you see here the vast score difference. So this is mostly comes into account when you're playing high-end games, but you see a score of 61,320, and you're getting triple that, 180,000 on the seven. So yeah, guys, especially if you're playing high-end games, I mean, I was watching it on Tudu when I, I just ran it again on iOS 10, and really, it's really uh, struggled for a lot of the graphical intensive stuff. Uh, let's bring up the cameras. All right. And for this, we're just going to see how fast they take pictures. 
So you do have a difference here on the 5S, you have an 8 megapixel camera. On the 7, you have a 12. In my opinion, the 7 camera is much better, which I think may sound obvious, but just in real world usage, it's definitely better, specs aside. All right, so in terms of speed, I think they're actually very similar, maybe even the 5S a tiny bit faster. All right, so interesting there. Uh, front-facing camera on the 7, you're getting a much better front-facing camera. 7 megapixels versus 1.2 on the 5S. And we are going to do more tests in a second, fingerprint scanner, web browsing, but I just want to go over some more specs. Um, in terms of storage on the 5S, 16, 32, or 64 gigabytes. 32, 128, or 256 gigabytes on the 7. If you're getting the 5S, guys, don't get 16. Get 32 at a minimum. Um, uh, so in terms of battery, 1560 on the 5S, 1960 on the 7. Both, of course, the fingerprint scanners. Now, the 7 is water resistant. The 5S is not. Uh, that's awesome feature, in my opinion. I always love that. Um, on the 7, you do not have a headphone jack. You have to use an adapter for the lightning port. Really annoying. On the 5S, you don't. You do have the headphone jack. Um, let's see here. So on the 7, you do have 3D touch. So if you're holding down harder on something, actually that time I held down too lightly. If you hold down hard, so maybe that app doesn't have the feature. Let me try camera. Yeah. So you see here, if you hold down hard rather than holding on lightly, you get these options. So I can just go into it. If I wanted to, if I go here, record video, automatic brings me to the video. So again, that's 3D touch, don't have it on the set, or rather don't have it on the 5S. Um, aside from that, not much difference. Um, the price, so big difference. So for the, uh, the 7, it's going to start at 650 Add an extra 100 or two if you're going to be upgrading the storage. Um, for the 5S, I don't even think they sell it uh, new anymore, but you can get it used, refurbished for around 250 in that range. So obviously a big difference of price. Honestly guys, the performance on the 5S is pretty good for the price. Um, let's do fingerprint scanner and then we're gonna do uh, web browsing. So yeah, both these do have Touch ID. Not that, not that big of a difference actually, I was expecting more. Obviously on the 7 really quick, but even on the 5S it's pretty good. But clearly there is a difference. All right, so let's look at web browsing. All right, so we are going to go to a few sites I've been to, a few I haven't. Start off with IGN. Uh, press it too slowly on the 5s, but you see here guys clearly doesn't matter. I mean it's clearly much faster on the 7 Press like a second after on the 5s. Is it not loading up? Hmm. Um, all right, let me just try a different site to Nintendo Hey guys, web browsing, at least on the 7, lightning quick. Let's do Nintendo. Alright, so it actually was faster there on the 5S. Interesting. Let's do CNN. And then we're going to do Yahoo. And then we'll go to a couple new sites. Again, fast here on the 5S. Very interesting. Let's do Yahoo. Again, that was faster on the 5S. Maybe it says less to load. Obviously, you have a bigger screen on the 7. Um, all right, last, let's do... Let me just do Fox Sports, a site that I haven't been to. New site to load up information. And we'll do one more site after this, CBS Sports, and then that'll be it. All right, so Fox Sports. All 
All right, so clear we pass here, voting up on the seven. Though I gotta say, I think that the five has doing very well. Uh, so last site, a new one that I haven't been to, CBS Sports. Right. All right, so again, yeah, clearly faster on the seven. Um, guys, so the seven, the seven plus, two fastest phones I own. Also have a lot of other great features going for it, like the camera. Uh, personally, I like the seven plus more just because the rear facing camera, you get dual lenses much better battery and a couple other advantages. Um, but for the most part, guys, I think that the iPhone 5S is still a very capable phone, very fast. Uh, again, giving Apple a lot of credit for still releasing iOS 10 on the 5S. Um, but if you want, if you're thinking about upgrading, then I definitely think it's worth upgrading to the 7. Let me just show you some more. So on the back, this is the rear of both phones, metal design. In my opinion, I think that the 7, much nicer design, also a whole lot more comfortable to hold. On the 5S, you really have these ridges around it. It's not ridges, it's just, you know, really, really rough around the edges. On the 7, curved, in my opinion, it's a much nicer design. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more content like this in the future. And let me know in the comment section what video you want to see next.